On September 27, 2020, Raddles became the first ever person to beat Minecraft in under 3 minutes. Just a year later, Rayo would complete the first ever sub 2 speedrun, which was supposed to be the last minute barrier to ever be broken. A sub 1 wasn't impossible because it required too much RNG or was too difficult, but it was simply theoretically impossible. By the start of 2023, every seed with a completed M portal had been searched through, so there was never going to be a faster seed. And with the current seeds, even the fastest tool assisted speedruns weren't under 1 minute and 30 seconds, so a sub 1 was quite clearly impossible. The only way to get a sub 1 would be if some crazy new update happened years into the future. For now, it was accepted that SSG World Records would be few and far between, with most records being an improvement of under a second. On August 5th, just this happened, as Magnetic Maybe accomplished an incredible feat of breaking the world record by half a second with a 147, that would be an even harder run to beat. Then, later that day, Hanabi broke this world record by 38 seconds with a 109. Sorry, what? How did one person destroy not only the world record, but the theoretical limit with a time jump larger than the last 27 records combined? Well, to understand this run, we need to understand two concepts. The first is this B run took place in 1.12 rather than 116. In 116, you will always spawn over a thousand blocks from the stronghold, so a considerable amount of time is wasted travelling to the stronghold. In 1.12, however, it's unlikely but possible to spawn further out and thus closer to the stronghold. Seeds like this allowed for the fastest end enters as you can spawn directly above the stronghold. However, this was never viable for SSG as there was no easy way to kill the dragon quickly in this version. That's where the second concept comes in. The faster an arrow is shot, the more damage it will deal. The kicker is that this is uncapped, so if you get an arrow moving really, really fast, it can do ridiculous amounts of damage. The faster a player is moving, the faster an arrow is shot. So if you were able to get a player to move a ridiculous speed to a shot an arrow, it could theoretically do enough damage to one-shot the dragon. It was worked out that you could do this using Dragon Knockback. If you let the dragon knock you back but have a safety belt behind you, there is a very brief moment where if you shoot an arrow, you will be moving so fast you can shoot the arrow fast enough to one-shot the dragon. With perfect timing and a lot of luck, this was possible for a human to do. We now had a way to kill the dragon quickly on these seats where you can enter the end really fast. And all this allowed Hanabi to get this crazy run. Over the next few weeks, the run would get more and more optimised and so the world record dropped lower and lower. It was now a question of when, not if, a sub 1 would be possible. On August 26th, three weeks after his first one-shot world record, Hanabi was speedrunning and started this run. He mined three blocks and instantly entered the stronghold. He grabbed a pick from a chest and ran towards the portal room. On the way, he found a skeleton which he killed, dropping a bow and one arrow. With everything he needed, he entered the end. He prepared his setup and the dragon instantly perched. It then started flying towards Hanabi. There was now just one shot between him and Minecraft history. And with that, the impossible barrier was broken.